We are here at the Playboy Mansion with Pilar Lostra, a playmate and also a host on Sirius XM, a humongous football fan. Firstly, how are you doing today? Really? Well, I mean, how could I not be doing well when I'm celebrating this huge event at the Playboy Mansion? I mean, it seems like I, a win-win. Yeah, yeah. I, I got I got my lineup set up at Star Street this week in the Elite Tournament. So okay, all right, I'm, don't I'm, don't tip your hand yet. Don't tip your I'm hand. Good. Don't tip your hand. <laughs> what we want to know is, firstly, how did you get into fantasy football, and who was your team? Tell us a little about yourself. Um, well, I got into it kind of just by fluke. I grew up in Texas, so sports is a, is okay. a big thing for us. Football is a big thing for us. And one of my friends needed like a last-minute fill-in several years back and huh. somebody dropped out and they were like, hey, it's, you know, 250 bucks, you wanna play? And I was like, sure. And I'm such a geek that I was like, all I have to do is research the heck out of defenses and I could win. Like injuries and defenses are your friends. Okay, and what year was this? Oh my gosh, that was <laughs> eight years ago. Okay, and who did you pick for your defense? Oh my gosh, eight years ago, I mean. Oh, you said you researched <laughs> the shit out of it. I mean, I figured you remember Yeah, that your was team. eight years ago. Okay, okay. all right, all right. I will right. say, I won, I won that year. Oh, you did? And then they, they asked me back, I, went, I won five years in a row, and then they kicked me out of the league. Because you were too good. I was too good. Okay. But then, you know what though? They said I was cheating. I was starting to like, because being a playmate, one of the cool things is we meet a lot of athletes. Mm. So we start to become friends with them. They start to give us like playbook information, injuries. We know who's going to sit really? before everybody else does. And then I started trading like, you know, signed jerseys uh -huh. for picks like Adrian Peterson. So you are literally, you could literally be placed into the FX show, The League, and that would like be the perfect role for you. Oh, it, it would. A hundred percent. I love that show. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm, I'm on season two. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> so, okay. Basically, here's what I want to ask you. Who did you pick today? Who'd you pick today to oh. win today? Let's see. Well, I did start Matt Ryan in, in daily. Okay. Daily. Right. I, I love right. his matchup. And in my regular league, I'm actually going up against Maurice Jones-Drew. He's got a show on the network You should be well. fine. I know. You should be fine. <laughs> you should. Yeah. You'll be okay. I, well, he, he clearly sat himself. He clearly sat mm -hmm. himself. Mm -hmm. But um, his defense is doing really well. He's got Jacksonville right now. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah, yeah. hopefully you know, they'll, they'll mess things up. But um, I've got also Anthony Gonzalez, so I need him to do really well. Tony Gonzalez? Is that yeah, okay. yeah, Tony Gonzalez. Oh, cute. That's cute. You call him <laughs> Anthony. Okay, give me a, a little inside baseball very quickly, and then we'll let you go. What exactly did you learn from one person's playbook? Don't have to tell me the name. Don't have to tell me the team. Oh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the best, absolute best insider tip I ever got. All right, I'm ready. Four years ago, one of my friends who played for the Houston Texans said, said um, sit Andre Johnson. And I told people on my radio show, sit Andre Johnson. And they were like, you're crazy. And I was like, I promise you guys, he's not going to play this week. Don't wait till Sunday morning to try and find a backup. Wow. And sure enough, he did not play that week. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. And you know, I mean, what helped was that it was a Wednesday when I could still work the waiver wire, you know, right. get in my last pick and pick Definitely. somebody up versus Sunday morning when I'm like, who's who's left, you know? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, you clearly have a lot of connections. Um, <laughs> it which, helps. Which I think we would definitely value on it this helps. very medium of TYT Sports. Uh, I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Would you come in and co-host with me? Would you co-host a show with me? I would love to. All right. We should do it. I would it. love to. Can you handle me? I mean, haven't, hasn't this interview proven that? I, I think I'm <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're game. All right. I like it. By the way, as the Jews would say for your fantasy team, uh, not today, but in years past, Mazel Tov, which means uh, congratulations and good luck. Oh, well, wait, how could it be good luck and congratulations? It's a Jewish thing. You wouldn't understand. That's that's so confusing. I know. I know. <laughs> Maybe I'll invite you to my how second about, bar mitzvah. How about good luck or congratulations? No, it, like, it goes hand in hand. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Okay, well, if you put it out to the universe, then congratulations means I'm already going to win. You put it out to the universe. I would, like predict, I would predict you to win right now for the sole fact that you have so many insiders in the sport. <laughs> um, it helps. It 100%. That's how come I get kicked out of the league all the time. Uh, it certainly does. By the way, where can people who are seeing you for the first time right here through that lens, where can people find your stuff? Um, well, you can listen to my show, Every Man's Fantasy, on Thursdays. Um, on the SiriusXM Fantasy Sports Channel and also on Twitter at RealPilarLastra. All right, there you go. We'll have more for you guys soon.